All right, y'all, good morning. How you doing? What's up? <laughs> I just woke up. Like, I literally just woke up. What's up? You know, I'm here with y'all. <laughs> like, we're here. My lips is dry. I'm about to brush my teeth. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> um, But today I'm doing, like, a maintenance vlog. I just feel like I've just been kind of, like, spreading myself very thin lately, and I just need to, like, get back and refocus and, like, yeah, just refocus and get everything back on me <laughs> for a second, you know? Um... So yeah, um, I'm about to take a, I'm about to brush my teeth first of all, and then I'm going to take a shower, um, shave and everything, and then I'm using some new products today. I'm going to be using the Native, um, I got the little travel size, I didn't want to buy the big one because I was like, what if I don't like this? Then I got to go return it and everything else, you feel me? I don't mind just holding on to a little travel size because I know I can have like a friend or somebody else that will use it, you feel me? Um... I took out my braids. I don't have any. I don't have braids anymore. I took them all out. Um, and I feel like my hair has really grown a lot. Like compared to just, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm looking at my hair in like the viewfinder, and I'm like, hold up, baby. I see a little limp. I see. I see a little. <laughs> little. What's it? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm childish. Um, but yeah, let me give you guys a rundown for today. So I'm about to um, brush my teeth, take a shower. Um, shave and everything. Uh, I'm gonna be trying out Native. They're new. Um, well, this isn't new, but it's new to me. The Coconut Vanilla Body Wash. I've been wanting to try out their um, their body washes because I use the deodorant like crazy, and I just bought a new deodorant, so I bought this one right here. Um, this one actually smells really good. It's called the Jungle Palm Leaf and Pergamot. <laughs> I hope I said that right. This one smells so freaking good. And, like goes very well with my body. Um, so I'm liking that one a lot too. Plus on top of that, you guys do know I'm using Derma Dry. If you don't, I have like a little card up there so you guys can watch that video. So it's been it's been real dry under here, and I'm liking that. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna be like shaving my face today because I've been noticing like I got a little mustache and I'm not liking it. And I saw a little hair over here. I was like, ooh, I'm not gonna. Mm. So I wanted to shave my whole face, and I wanted like you know. I want it to just be good. And I'm thinking that this is going to be really good because um, when I apply my makeup and everything, um, I feel like around this area gets like super dark and stuff. Um, so yeah, we're going to test it out today and see. But um, at 12 p.m., I'm going to go get a Brazilian wax. I haven't got a Brazilian in like months. You feel me? So like, whoo, this is going to this gonna be one that's going to, it's going to hurt. <laughs> it's going to hurt. <laughs> and then I have a hair appointment at 5 p.m. I'm just getting braids to the back and everything, and I'm be applying my wig either tonight. What is it on my hair? <laughs> well, a bit. I'm just playing. Um, but I'm gonna either apply my wig um tonight or tomorrow morning. So yeah, just a little, you know, pick me up. I need it, like I really do. Okay, and I'm excited. Aaliyah Michelle, make sure to include her um, Instagram and YouTube in my um, description and everything. She put me on to this because I remember she was talking about it on um, Instagram. And this stuff, bomb, works miracles, okay? I use the Fresh Breath um, Oral Rinse. And it literally does like leave you with fresh breath for 24 hours, okay? This right here, you need it. It's better than a lot of other mouthwash that I've tried, to be honest. Alright, I'm about to put my hair up and then get in the shower. And we're about to get started. <laughs> I look crazy. Oh my gosh, I look so crazy. By the end of this video, I'm about to be looking good. I'm about to be looking bomb, okay? I'm bomb, period, inside and out, okay? And I'm talking to myself while I'm saying this, yeah. And I hope this energy is coming on to you because you bomb too, period, okay? Yeah, so I am out of the shower now. I'm feeling refreshed. That coconut and vanilla body wash is bomb. Like I really like it. Um, my skin feels very, very like hydrated, and I feel like, you know, some certain body washes and everything that you use, like it doesn't get like you know, <laughs> it don't feel like clean. You feel like you you know when it feels clean, and that one it felt real, real clean. I like that a lot. Look, Elmas might as well sponsor me by now. This is like not on purpose or anything, but literally. Um, this is the Pro Collagen Rose Facial Oil. It's, it literally says um, soothing facial oil on it. So that's why I wanted to use it. It's so cute. I like little. Yeah. All right, y'all. 
right, y'all, now we about to get up close and personal. This is like the close. This is probably this will probably be like the closest that we get. Like my hair looking a mess. Y'all will see the dirt in my hair. I just took out my braids. Okay, give me a little bit of a little braid there, a little because your girls getting it together. It's a maintenance vlog. Okay. Oh my god! Do y'all see that? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Do you guys see this? And it's not hard to do, but damn, my face is hairy. Oh my gosh. Like, look at the hair on my face. Oh, wow. Okay. So yeah, my face looks good. Like this literally brought out a lot. Cause like if you guys saw earlier, it was it was looking real, real shadowy, real real shadow. Cause I went through one of my PR packages that Patchology literally just sent me, um, and I found some products that are literally some shaving. After I literally just finished um, shaving my whole face, it's like the perfect mask because I need to just soothe everything, you know, keep it calm, keep it collective, you know. <laughs> Ooh, and I love Patchology masks because they always are juicy. Okay, look at this. Baby, she juicy. So I'm also gonna lay down for like just <laughs> literally um, five minutes. So then this can just soak in and relax, you feel me? But let's get started. I feel like I've been procrastinating this morning, like just installing this wig. She has a few new products that I literally just got. Um, so I got the Native, this is their body wash, the coconut and vanilla. Y'all, this right here is so good. Like, I have bought the travel size first because this cost, I think, around $15, something like that. Um, and I was like, ooh, okay, for this size, $15 for a body wash? I don't know. But um, I bought the travel size first, first <laughs> and it was worth it. Like, this is fire. This is bomb. I'm here for it. And then I also got, um, these are Ray for Wellness. They're beauty drops. I have been hearing like a lot of good things about this brand and also just that their products actually work when it comes to um, nail growth, hair growth, and everything else too. And I really want to grow my hair out this year. Like having them ponytails and stuff last year did a lot of damage to my hair where I'm damn near going to have to do like a big, big chop. Like I'm probably going to have to chop off four inches, something like that. You feel me? Um, and then I also got the Rael. I don't know if it's real Rael. I'm not too sure. I don't want to butcher the name that much, but I got their organic cotton core tampons and they have plant-based um, compact applicators, which are really cool. And they're not like applicator because for me, I saw some that were, you know, organic, plant-based, everything else doing great. And they were still like, like, you know, the tampons that you buy from the gas station that have like the cardboard and stuff, the tampons, you feel me? That's how they were. And I was just not here for it. I don't like, the, I don't like that. You know, I feel like it's, yeah, I don't know. I like more so like the little plastic ones, but I'm really happy that I found one that is plant. Um, but I'm really happy that I found one that's plant based. Um, compact applicators. Okay, give me visuals. Hold up, my friend Joey. Y'all make sure you follow her. The Golden Nug. You feel me? If you don't know the Golden Nug, what you doing? You better get to know. I'm gonna be a little crooked. Hold on. Here we go. But yeah, my friend Joey. You guys should most definitely check out her content and everything. Um, check her out because the girl is, the girl is doing the thing. Okay. This is bomb. This, look, literally I was screaming. I was like, you better. Okay. <laughs> Especially like when you said the, um, when it went to the Washington part, I was like, oh, okay. I see you. I see you. This is like, <laughs> this is how I be hyped, like for real. Cause these are my friends and it's just like, it's just so good when you see like 
your friends winning. I'm always here to support my friends. Like, if I see my friends doing something good and they winning, whatever, like, I'm genuinely here to support. You feel me? Like, I don't have no reason to be jealous or anything like that at all. Because, like, we all are trying to do the same thing. We all are trying to win. Like, not even trying to win, but we all are trying to reach different goals in life and everything. So it's like, why would you sit there and be jealous over somebody when you can actually be their friend or even, like, just collaborate with them, whatever the case might be, so that you guys can help each other out and then grow a community, you know, a sense of community together, a sense of, like, just all that, like, it's, uh, I really hate the whole competition thing within, like, this, you know, the industry, I guess, whatever, um, because, I don't know, I'm just a really big person on just building up that community, and, like, if I have my girls around me, like, okay, we can, we can work together, we're gonna support each other for sure, for sure, and we know that, but, yeah, that's just me, and let's get into these packages, see what we gonna, what we gonna do. Most Wanted. This is the Naked Urban Decay, their Wild West Most Wanted Desert Inspired Neutrals. Okay. Let's see, you know. I remember working at Ulta um, when I was in college, and girl, I used to sell these little, these palettes all the time. I'm like, girl, it's the perfect palette that you need. <laughs> oh, she's kind of cute. I'm not even gonna lie. I've been hearing a, I've been hearing a lot of mixed feelings about it, but I'm not gonna front. This is my type of palette. This is really like, this is my type of palette for sure. Let me scoot up for y'all. Like it's just those simple browns, that little pop of blue. You get the gold up in there, everything. So I don't know. I'm gonna try it out today. I'm gonna use a few of the shades, um, and we'll see how she looks. Okay. And then Bite Beauty, they sent me some stuff. I love Bite Beauty. Like, I'm starting to understand that I really do like this brand. I'm like, wow, you guys make good ass products. And I like, I love everything you guys drop. <laughs> this is their new Upswing Extreme Long Wear Liquid Eyeliner. Clean liner, you feel me? Um, what is it made with? What is it made with? It has passion flower. Okay, okay. The liner doesn't flake. Anything like that. And we're gonna try this one out today. And this one goes for um, $25. See how the packaging is. Ooh. It's the packaging for me. Like, I'm sorry, but they do it every time. Now I wanna see how the applicator is, because there's some applicators that I don't really care for, and I feel like this may be one. If I can. How you, how you supposed to open it? Is it like a button? Am I supposed to like push? Woo -woo. Doo -doo -doo. I may or may not play around with this today just because I personally don't care for these type of applicators. I like the applicators that are, um, like a pen, you know, where I can like really feel like I'm in control of everything. But oh, she dries down really fast. Cause you guys saw how like, I literally just put those little um those little line marks and everything, and it's already like drying down very very fast. My friend, it's my friend, friend. You feel me? This one is the um, Eunice Five by Five Lace Closure Wig. Um, um, I actually made like a whole video and everything for it. So if you're interested, please make sure you check it out. Cause my girl be having a few wig reviews and everything for you okay oh yeah just realized you guys probably could hear my fan going off but i look it's cold the fan will be staying on okay So we're good, we're doing, we're real good, okay? <laughs> um, but I'm about to fix my wig up. I'm about to make it look real cute and everything. Um, and I'm about to look good for today. I'm feeling really, really, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really good right now, you feel me? Um, but I was saying that, but I was saying, please let me know how you guys feel about my lighting because I'm switching some things up and everything. So let me know, y'all here for this? Are y'all like, okay, girl, no, no, mm -mm, this ain't it. Let me know what's up, okay? <laughs> um, but let's get it. I'm ready to install this wig and to look real cute, real cute, cute. But I'm seeing the vision. I'm seeing what we doing. It's going to be real nice. Um, let me just go get the, let me just go get my, my stuff real quick and then we're going to get started. 
But yeah, I'm just gonna fix this little area right here because it's not laying as flat as I want it to. I don't know what it is, but like this side of the hair just does not lay flat at all. Like y'all can see this side, it's, it's looking like semi-flatter, you know? But um, this is like my little throw it on, we're out the door, you feel me type of wig. So, so I'm about to just like put some spray right here in the front. Um, and then I'm gonna allow for the edges to lay and everything. And y'all gonna see what I'm gonna do to like, you know, make it look a little bit more natural. Cause right now y'all gonna be like, oh, she got a wig in her head. And like, yeah, I got a wig in my head, but like, yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's get it, let's do this. But I just applied the um the glue. Need to put some more over here. Spray glue, whatever you want to call it. I put this scarf on and put some of this styling foam into this little area. We back and we in focus, okay? Yes, this makes me happy. Um, I need to go shopping for more like hair accessories. It's not hair accessories, but hair tools. I don't have like the proper tools and everything for my hair, to be honest. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I am doing the other side now. I'm moving through this pretty fast. Um, the only pieces I didn't do is like this front part right here because I'm gonna wait till I take all my hair down so then like the curls and stuff can flow with the hair, you feel me? But yeah, let me know how you guys like this type of video because I'm switching things up on my channel, you know, like doing a maintenance vlog plus like the get ready with me and everything else. We're gonna be having a pop off and stuff. But if you guys like this, like let me know in the comments down below because then I'll make sure to, you know, create more content like this. You feel me? Stuff that we both will enjoy because I really enjoyed like taking you guys along my experience and stuff. Um, let me spray this real quick. I like me getting my hair done and everything. Then now like us sitting here and chatting it up. And just have a good conversation, you feel me? If you guys have any recommendations for like curlers and everything, please let your girl know because I'm looking for some new ones. I need to invest in some better ones for sure. So now I'm about to just um, make this part look a lot more defined. Um, and the way that I'm about to do that, let me fix that up too. And the way I'm about to do that is just like putting a little bit of concealer right here and that really just helps to define the part. Um, I'm using an ABH number two brush. Um, it just has like a very, very, and I'm just using the concealer that I'm going to use today. I'm using the Pure Cosmetics Push Up 4-in-1 Sculpting Concealer. Long name. But um, yeah, this is the shade that I'm using today. I'm using, And I'm using shade DG3. you know um I take a little bit of the concealer too and I just like put it in right here in little areas to allow for it to just blend in and look a little bit more natural and I'm only doing this because this is a wig that I feel as if I'm gonna use for a long period of ugly time you feel me and I just didn't want to over pluck the lace and everything and then boom have all spots over here and there but I'm gonna touch that up later with a little bit of my wax stick right now I'm about to get into the makeup okay let's let's do it honey let's let's get it so I'm going to start off with my Benefit. This is the 24-hour um, brow setter. Recently, I've been using it a lot more um, than usual. But yeah, I don't know why I have stopped using this for like a little while. Um, but now I think I'm back on it. I think. Don't quote me, but I think I am, okay? Okay, we back in focus. And this is going to stay here. It better stay here or else we're going to have a problem. <laughs> Look. Um, but let's get it. Um, I'm about to start with my brows right now. I actually got a package from Huda Beauty. So I'm going to be trying out their products. Yes, okay, so excited. So Huda Beauty, they just launched their new um, brow pencils. These are called hashtag bomb brows, period, okay? And let's try it out. And this is shade black brown. And then, let me see, because rich brown might be a good shade too. 
see the difference in between this like this one is a little bit more warmer tone um and it truly is like that rich brown you know um while the black brown is i think a little bit more closer to like the shade that um is like natural to my brows so i'm gonna use this shade today Ooh, okay Since it says it's micro, let's see. Are you are you drawing little hair-like strokes too? Oh, that's kind of cute. I'm not mad at that. Okay. Oh wow, you can like really draw out like the hair like um I said you can really draw out like you can really draw the um the hair like strokes. Hold on, I need a mirror. I have a mirror here, but I want to get a little bit closer. Oh well. Um, I'm just gonna play around with it. What y'all think about this shape? I feel like it does complement me very well. I may look at soft black just for like this area because it does give the um Look, I'm not going to sit here and spend all damn day on these brows, so I'm going to keep pushing. <laughs> uh, I'm still trying to figure out if I like this product or not. Like, how do you guys, what do you guys think? Do you guys like the color? Um, I use black brown. Let me know how y'all feel about it. Let me know. Let me know. <laughs> but, what you look crazy, Maya. <sighs> okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's all right. You know, my brows don't look all that. But, yeah. The brows are like the soul to every, oh, I have to fix it. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do, that's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah, so I am gonna conceal my face first. I told you guys it's gonna be like a little natural look, you know, not doing some crazy, crazy stuff like that. So I'm just gonna put a little bit right here. nose just basically like all the places where I would highlight but I'm not putting like a whole bunch of, like layers on you feel me um and like this is the first thing that I started out with I'm still gonna and I am still gonna use my cream contour um I'm not gonna use a whole bunch though that's the key okay right. so first thing first I'm gonna just blend this out right here because my mind you as I told you I just put just a little so it's not like oh my god what the hell is that you know all that is done now I'm about to blend out this concealer and like you guys, this concealer is so close to my own like, skin tone shade. So I really, really do like it on those days where I just want to, you know, have a natural beauty. I don't want to do too much. I just want to have like a little dewy look of like, yeah, I put some makeup on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm cute. Mm -hmm. We know this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so I am going to be putting on some blush. I'm using the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Cream Blush. These came out, I feel like, last year sometime. Um, and I've been loving them like... <laughs> I really like them. I do want to try out the Rare Beauty um, cream blushes. I've been hearing a lot of people talk about those. So I'm gonna put on some powder now and I'm just gonna lightly like tap it on there, okay? And I'm using the Huda Beauty Kanufa powder. This has like literally been my go-to. <laughs> like anytime I need a powder, this is the one I'm using. All right, guys, I hope I'm still in focus. I really do. Um, but now I'm going to use some of the Urban Decay. I haven't used this primer in a long time, but they sent it in the package, and I'm like, okay, let me use it. You feel me? But I'm going to use some of the Urban Decay 
eyeshadow primer potion. This is like taking it back to 27. Huh. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna use the shade called Ghost Town. It's in the palette. It's this like orange shade right here. I'm just gonna kind of tap that on there. I'm not doing too much, too crazy with it. I told you guys, like we're we're doing a very natural look today. Like I barely did any makeup. Because remember, you guys, how I said, like, we're doing a look for just a dewy type of day, you know, where you're not applying a whole bunch of products, um, but you still want to, like, you know, look cute. So this gold is kind of like a glitter, and I really feel like if I apply it with my hand, it's going to be coming up. Yep, ten times better. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. I like that a lot. <laughs> Oh yeah, okay. So I added on the shade called Rustler right here just to kind of see, okay, what type of effect this is gonna give. And it actually like really brought this color out a little bit. To give it more of that bronzy type of feel. And y'all know I love a bronzy look, okay? Now I feel like the eyes are doing too much for this, but it's not, it's something slight. It really is something slight, like this is not all that. <laughs> Yeah, we're not even gonna put lashes on. I'm just gonna put on some Bite Beauty mascara. This has like literally been my favorite mascara. Cause it makes my lashes like genuinely pop, you feel me? Put some on this side too. And it coats every single one of my lashes. Like even the ones on the inner corner that like, I don't even know what's there. All right, y'all, so I finished with my makeup. I don't really care for it, to be honest. Like, I'm gonna be, be real with y'all. <laughs> I forgot to put foundation on. Like, how you forget to put foundation? Like, when you doing your whole face? Like, what? It's cause I was doing things different and like, yeah, mm-mm. But let me know how you guys like the, um, the Huda Beauty, the new brow pencil. I'm still giving it a feel. I think I'm gonna try a few other shades and stuff like that to see, okay, if I actually use this one for like an everyday beat or just for like, you know, when I'm really, really getting glammed up, you feel me? Um, and yeah, and I wanna like end up, I wanna end up really learning how to use a color corrector because all around here is just kind of dark and I don't really like that. I know most definitely if I had a color corrector, it will be 10 times better, you know? Really, really windy, so. I'm about to put on some, I don't know. I'm trying to decide if I should put on sweats or not, but I want to put on some sweats because it's really, really windy, okay? Let me, so I'm about to head out to um, get some food real quick, but I don't know, I'm just like, hey, this is a maintenance vlog, you feel me? We talking about getting ourselves, you know, a little, a little together. Like we can't fully get together because we still in a little panty. But I'm like, let me just, let me look a little cute while we get some food, you know, four months out, you know what I mean? <laughs> Um, and I don't know why I thought to put a turtleneck on, like, and this turtleneck, I got it off Amazon, yeah. I'll make sure to, like, link them down below so you guys can buy them too. And this is how cold it is right now. I'm wearing my <laughs> leggings <laughs> with some sweats right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then I'm throwing on my little jacket real quick. I got this from H&M. I took a picture in it, actually. Um, I really, really do love this jacket. It's so cute, and it's just like, it goes with everything, you know? But these right here are the Nike Zoom Gravity. I personally really like them. They're very comfortable and affordable, too. So I'm just saying, look, you balling on the budget. You balling on the budget, look. Because you can most definitely make something, you know, that is a little, little cheaper price to still look cute and elevated, okay? <laughs> Hey you guys, so now I'm on my way to get myself something to eat and I can't play the music because your girl's not trying to get copyrighted, okay? <laughs> um, but I hope you all really did enjoy this Get Ready With Me and please let me know down in the comments if you guys want more content like this because I can, you know, I could do a few more Get Ready With Me's, okay? <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe, like, you watched the whole video, help me help you, <laughs> we got this boo. <laughs> Have a great day, y'all.